aim of the festival is to have activities here, I suppose. Yep. Hopefully, we'll have music and we'll have talks and discussions and we'll be looking at things like the, the anti-mining campaign and the sparrows and, you know, really talking about the great, like, work of grassroots activism that's being done with such creativity right here in Ontario in the Northwest. Intensely, where we might look at some type of storytelling session. Um, we've got some really great storytellers in mind who are already working on, you know, developing stories that are grounded in, in this notion of circularity and the circular economy and nature and respect for the land and respect for animals right. and that kind of thing. So. Outdoors, but not outdoors. Exactly. So, you see, we're coming towards your allotment space here yes. and the, the market garden, um, and it would be great to kind of have a focus on that during the festival. We're currently in our amphitheatre space, an outdoor space, indoor space that can be used for a variety of things, and we're really keen to see what uh, the Artitude Festival can bring to it. So the RDG Festival is going to bring quite a lot, hopefully, to this space. We're going to use it for our, our main base over the two days of the festival and this is where we'll have music, performances, storytelling. Um, we're really excited to have a youth theatre who are part of a delegation of water protectors from the Lakota Nation in the US and they'll be performing um, a performance of their play. We'll be filling this space with creativity but we'll also have a real emphasis on community and um, particularly those people within the community here in Derry, London Derry in the North West who've been doing so much um, to bring about a circular economy and to bring a real focus and attention in a positive way to climate action and what we can do as a community together um, to create a climate positive future. <laughs>